Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Israelites, go get your power back from the kingdom of darkness. The Most High said to you, he has given you power, not authority, power to tread down scorpions, serpents, and the entire kingdom of darkness, and nothing by any means can hurt you. When the scripture said treading down scorpions and serpents, the Most High is referring to unclean spirits. If you are familiar with the Spirit Ram series on this channel, you will know animals represent unclean spirits in disguise in the spirit realm. Satan and his angels live in the spirit realm. Spirits are disembodied. They do not have a body like you and me. Therefore, they have to take on the image of something for you to see them. For example, if you see a serpent in the realm of the spirit, that serpent is an unclean marine spirit. A marine spirit or a work of iniquity is not going to appear to you in their natural state and reveal their true intentions. The worker of iniquity and the unclean spirit will disguise themselves to deceive you to forge a covenant. By the way, if you see a serpent in your dream that usually symbolizes witchcraft power, someone is using marine power via witchcraft to attack you. The person is close to you. The scripture's reference of a serpent and scorpion is not meant to be interpreted literally. The scorpions and serpents the scripture is referring to are unclean spirits. Another example I would like to reference, when the Most High said to his people he would restore the years the stripping locust, caterpillar, and the canker worm has eaten from you. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Just like Luke chapter 10 verse 19 speak of scorpions and serpents, the locust reference and the other animals are unclean spirits that is oppressing your life. Do not visualize an earthly locust or caterpillar. These animals cannot harm you in the physical realm. In the spiritual realm, it is another story. It appeared to be a locust next to you. However, that locust you are seeing in the spirit realm could be the spirit of poverty, backwardness or any other spirit trying to forge a covenant with you the most high promise to give you back the years those unclean spirits have taken from you if the spirit of poverty have been oppressing your life and you seek deliverance the most high would restore the years the spirit of poverty have stolen from you not what a locust in the physical realm have stolen the tiny locust you see in the physical realm is not oppressing you the locusts do not have the ability to steal anything from you Israelites, this is why it is important to look with your spiritual eyes. The unseen things are eternal and the seen is temporary. For we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Israelites, you have to remember to keep your eyes on the unseen world, regardless of what the physical realm is portraying to you. In Luke chapter 10, verse 19, the King James Version said, The Most High has given you power. There is a difference between authority and power. I can authorize someone I know or do not know to act on my behalf. I can add an authorized user to my credit card or bank card to use. Every day we give apps we download to our smartphones, authorization to utilize the information on our phones. The apps could use the microphone, camera, and read our text messages. The apps have the ability to spy on us and send messages on our behalf. We give the apps authority to do so. Sometimes we know, other times we don't know. Most of you do not realize when you write a check, you are authorizing the bank to use your money as collateral when they give out loans. When you sign a check in the reserve line for your signature, that so-called line actually say authorized signature. When you sign the check, you are giving the bank and the person you have written the check the authority to cash the check and the bank the authority to loan your money with interest to you and others. The scriptures reveal the Most High has given us power to cast out devils and to heal the sick in Yahshua's name. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. If you meet a person today and you witness this individual healing a sick person, just as Yahshua have done on multiple occasions, 
Most people would idolize the person. Some will assume this person is super spiritual. They will praise that person and believe this individual is sinless. That is why they are able to heal the sick. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High has given you and me the power to heal the sick and cast out devils. If Yah gave us this power, why are we surprised when a person utilized the power given to us? Israelites, why is it rare to find a person who could heal the sick? We should not be surprised if we were to meet a person who had the ability to heal the sick. The Most High said he has given us the power to do so. If we understood and knew the power that worked in us, we would not be surprised when a person that the Most High is showing himself strong through heal the sick, cast out devils, display great wisdom and understanding of all sorts. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. The reason many people give the Most High's praise to the person acting on the behalf of the Most High, they believe it is the person standing in front of them doing the work. Most people do not realize it is the Holy Spirit healing the sick. The Holy Spirit is casting out devils. The Holy Spirit is speaking through the person prophesying. The Holy Spirit is the one revealing truth to the person teaching and displaying great wisdom. Many people mistake the Holy Spirit with human wisdom. It is the Most High that does the work in us. That is why we should praise the Most High and not the person. Yah will not share his glory with another. I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Now do you understand why the Most High work with the humble? A humble person will not steal Yah's glory. Israelites, anybody can give another person the authority to act on their behalf. Authority is simply giving a person access. Power, in the other hand, is a higher level of authority. Power transforms a person into a remarkable force. Israelites, you must understand that the Most High has given the heathens the authority to rule over us due to our disobedience. However, Yah did not give them power over us. The Most High gave Satan authority to oppress Job. Yah did not give Satan power to do whatever he pleased with Job. He was limited. Remember, it is the Most High that appoint leaders, presidents, and kings in all nations, and it is the Most High that dethroned them as well. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. But God is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. Whenever the Most High is judging a nation or a president, the media will not cover the judgment. They do not want you to have hope, Israelites. If they do cover the judgment, they will make up an excuse for the cause. The synagogue of Satan do not want you to see the most high sovereignty. They censor everything in their media, including social media, to keep you feeling defeated. Have you noticed that they only showcase stories displaying a heathen oppressing an Israelite and getting away with it? They never display the stories showing the most high intervening on the behalf of his people. The kingdom of darkness cannot let that happen because an Israelite might just tap into the power Yah have given him or her and overthrow the synagogue of Satan. The kingdom of darkness cannot do what they want to us. If it were up to Satan, he would have wiped us out by now. Unclean spirits cannot jump on us and take control. We must give them permission to oppress us. In today's society, the Most High is using the serpent seed to chastise his people. When Judah went into captivity, the Most High used King Nebuchadnezzar to carry out this judgment. When King Nebuchadnezzar exalted himself, the Most High had to humble him. Once Yah was done humbling King Nebuchadnezzar, he confessed it was the Most High, not him who is the supreme ruler. The king spake and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty? While the word was in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven, saying, O King Nebuchadnezzar, to thee it is spoken, the kingdom is departed from thee. And at the end of the days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted up mine eyes unto heaven, and mine understanding returned unto me. And I blessed the Most High, and I praised and honored him that liveth for ever, whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. Israelites, no matter what it appear to be in the physical realm, Yah is in control and the Most High has the final say. 
If the Most High allowed the kingdom of darkness to rule over you, then iniquity was found in you. The job of the kingdom of darkness is to make themselves appear to be larger than they really are. The kingdom of darkness do not have power over you. Let me repeat, the kingdom of darkness do not have power over you. This is why the Most High informed you in Luke chapter 10 verse 19 that he has given you power to tread down the entire kingdom of darkness. In addition to Luke 10 and 19, the Most High made a covenant with our forefather Abraham. Yah said to Abraham that your descendants would possess the gates of their enemies. That in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. Gates are a form of an altar. Gates are where covenants are established and business transactions take place. When you read the word gates in scriptures, it is not referring to the modern day gates that barricade our houses. Gates are referring to town halls, governments, unions, and establishments where the leaders would gather to discuss all manners of things. Do not mistake the gates the Most High is speaking of with the gates that protect your house. Gates are places where those who are respected and in power held their meetings. A good precept to help you understand the word gates in the scriptures, the Proverb 31 woman story revealed that her husband was respected at the city gates. Her husband is known at the gates when he sitteth among the elders of the land. The scriptures reveal her husband is known at the city gates where he sits among the elders. The Most High said that Abraham's descendants would possess the gates of their enemies. Yah has made a covenant agreement with Abraham that transferred to us to control the gates of our enemies. The Most High said he would scatter us among our enemies. Therefore, the governments and town halls, secret societies, and groups that come against us, we would possess them. The heathens know that they are limited. The synagogue of Satan have to intimidate you somehow to control you. As powerful as the synagogue of Satan appear to be, they are limited. Many Israelites cannot comprehend the power the Most High has given to his people to disable the kingdom of darkness. If Israelites all over the world understood the power the Most High has given to us, we would not be in captivity for as long as we've been. To be the Most High's chosen people, it comes with a big responsibility as well as great powers. The heathen system is set up to keep you in sin so that you would never tap into the power the Most High has given to his people to tread down the entire kingdom of darkness. This is the reason the kingdom of darkness and the synagogue of Satan make sure you never rise as a people. They will oppress us to keep us from tapping into the power the Most High has given to his people. Unbelief is one of our problems. After unbelief, emotions follow. Israelites, you have to believe the Most High can do the things he say he will do. You have to know the many promises the Most High made to his people. Once you know the promises the Most High made to you, yes, you, you will begin to reign. The scripture said if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can command a mountain to move and it will move. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall shall be impossible unto you. The kingdom of darkness has beaten many Israelites down that they cannot see the unstoppable power that dwell in them. Israelites, our enemies live in fear. If they truly had power, they would not live in fear. They know that if we are able to unite, in addition, submit to our Elohim, the times of the heathens are over. The synagogue of Satan goes to great length to make sure we do not understand the awakening. Censorship is one of the tools they are using, but has already failed. The heathens who are boasting, they have been deceived to believe they are superior. In due time, they will know the truth. Some Israelites have never seen the Most High move on their behalf. They live through other Israelites who have seen the Most High plead their case. Israelites, this is why it is important to share your testimony. It will encourage other Israelites to seek Yah. In addition, the Most High gains the opportunity to display his sovereignty. I have shared on multiple occasions how the Most High plead my case when I was wrongfully terminated. I have shared that the person the kingdom of darkness used was also terminated a year later. The Most High did not stop there. The company was bought out and soon to never be heard of again. It has been a downhill for the company since I left. I am sure the Most High did not judge the business solely for me, but for all who were treated poorly. 
in addition to share my testimony with you to encourage you. Israelites, I have witnessed the Most High intervene on my behalf multiple times. Yah will fight for the righteous. The Most High has intervened in many Israelites' lives. Majority are not aware. Most Israelites dismiss their breakthrough. The kingdom of darkness successfully robbed them of their victory. Our ancestors did not have an ear to hear. Instead of listening to the prophets, the Most High appointed, they stoned them and killed them. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets and stonest to them that are sent unto thee. How often would I have gathered thy children together as a hen doth gather her brood under her wings. Today, Israelites are rejecting the message that could help them simply because the Most High is using a woman. Those who refuse to hear the message through a woman, the kingdom of darkness has robbed them of their deliverance. Some Israelites allow worldly affairs to get in their way through distractions. That is the kingdom of darkness robbing them of their deliverance. Israelites, Satan do not care if you know you are an Israelite, nor does the synagogue of Satan. As long as you do not know how to utilize the power given to you, you can make 50 million videos saying you are the Israelites and share videos of heathens confessing that we are the Israelites. As long as you do not know how to operate in the power Yah has given to his people, you can scream from the top of your lungs that black people are the chosen people. The kingdom of darkness do not care. The moment the people the Most High select to reveal to his people how to operate in the power he has given to them, the kingdom of darkness will do everything to make sure that person do not succeed. Censorship is a strategy the synagogue of Satan is using. Yah has the final say he will get the message out to his people. The scripture said who can decree a thing and have it happen when the Most High has not decreed it. Who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord commandeth it not? When you quote scriptures, you have to believe. Once you believe, it gives the Most High permission to fight for you. Many Israelites do not realize that our enemies has disabled many of you in the realm of the spirit. Many Israelites refuse to gain knowledge on the realm of the spirit. Due to their lack of knowledge, they are perishing. If your spirit is in a spiritual cage in the realm of the spirit, you will be defeated in all that you do in the physical realm. The root to all your problems lie in the spirit realm. It makes perfect sense to understand the realm of the spirit. Everything that is going to happen to you or pending, it will be revealed in the spirit realm. Many Israelites take the realm of the spirit for a joke. They do not have enough faith to believe what the Most High is revealing to them in the realm of the spirit. Your enemies fight you in the spirit realm. The synagogue of Satan made sure the religion most Israelites are subscribed to do not teach about the realm of the spirit. Israelites, your enemies know all about the realm of the spirit. That is how Satan is able to keep the Israelites oppressed. When we have the so-called black leaders doing something for our communities, when the synagogue of Satan considered that leader a threat to keep their hands clean, they will send the spirit of death to forge a covenant with that leader in the spirit realm. Your spirit is the real you. Since many people do not know how the spirit realm operate, they will ignore the revelation. By default, the spirit of death has gained the legal right to carry out its plans. The person whom the spirit of death was sent to kill will begin to receive warnings by the Most High in the realm of the spirit. If they are not connected to the Most High, that person will surely die. Now do you see why the kingdom of darkness is able to assassinate every black leader that has ever displayed the ability to unite Israelites all over the world? Your enemies know about the great power that dwell in you. They go to great length to oppress that power. It is time that you tap into that power. When the ancient Israelites was walking in the spirit with our Elohim, the Most High would annihilate the Israelites' enemies round about. King David knew how to use the power the Most High gave him. That is why he is known to be a great king. He was a man after the Most High's heart. Haiti is a tiny island. It is not a superpower nation according to today's standards. In the synagogue of Satan's perspective, the people are not a threat. At least that's what they want you to believe. When the Haitians tap into the power the Most High has given to them, they defeated all of their enemies round about. Haiti was a place of refuge for all who were enslaved. Haiti is a testimony for all Israelites all over the world to know that it doesn't matter if odds are against you. If Yah be for you, who can be against you? What can man do to you? What shall we then say to these things? 
if God be for us, who can be against us? You have to believe Yah is for you. The synagogue of Satan wants to erase the history of the Haitian people. The Most High would never let anyone forget. In addition, the Most High said that he would use those whom the world considered to be unwise to bring the so-called wise and superior people to shame. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty and base things of the world and things which are despised. Hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to naught things that are. When the Most High fight for you, the kingdom of darkness do not stand a chance. When our ancestors were submitted to our Elohim, they would consult the Most High and the Most High would fight for his people. There are countless stories in the scriptures verifying the Most High intervening on the behalf of his people. Israelites, the Most High care about you. That is why he is trying to wake you up. Do not let the kingdom of darkness steal your glory. The power that gave Yahshua the ability to walk on water is in you. The power that wake you out of your slumber dwell in you. Your body is a temple that house that power. What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? There is absolutely nothing too hard for the Most High. The kingdom of darkness is trying its best to suppress the power given to you. When you begin to operate in the power the Most High has given to you, you will begin to see how your life turn around and for Israelites all over the world. There will be a great shift in the atmosphere. Nations will begin to experience major plagues. The individuals who has a hand in your demise will be judged. Do not let the synagogue of Satan steal your power. Israelites, it is time that you take your power back from the kingdom of darkness. And said, O Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven? And rulest not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen? And in thine hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to withstand thee?